Boom, baby, yes! What's going on, everybody? Made it in one piece. Here we go, 75 feet. Alright guys, what's going on? We're doing something we've never really done before and that's kokanee fishing. I still have not caught a kokanee yet. The hunt is still on for him. This is like attempt number three or four. First time we didn't catch anything. Second time caught a bunch of rainbows. This is attempt number three. Third time's the charm, right? It is absolutely beautiful out here. I'm gonna go bold and say let's get a limit today. From zero to limits. It's gonna be the title. Yeah, I got a. Uh, I got it tied up, or I got it in the water already. Those rainbows yesterday were a good practice. Baby, come on, let's go, buddy. First coconut in here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it, bro. We got one. We got one. No, no, no. He came off. No, we came off. No lie, my leg kicked the reel, and then that's when the fish hit. And that's what they say that the fish are waiting for. They're waiting for a change in the presentation of the bait. So that's why we're zig. We're trying to zigzag. We're breaking. Oh my! Oh, that's that's tough. But we've been out here for about I don't know. The GoPro says 35 minutes. So to have a fish hit in the first 35 minutes, like. That's not bad, but the elusive kokanee has avoided me yet again, ladies and gentlemen. Will this happen? Stay tuned on to the next episode. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you guys. Dang it, dude, but no lie, my ankle hit the reel, and it, it must have given that bait just a little, a little shimmy down there, because that's when the fish hit. Doggone it's man But that's cool That's that's Things are trending upwards for sure Will we get a kokanee today? I was on the 6 ounce Slider ball too so What's up Tyler? I just lost one right now so Yeah <laughs> They just fed all night or something? They fed all night. Yeah. yeah. So I think it should get better as the morning goes on. So. Sweet, yeah. Yeah, this lake's dope, especially because it has... Oh, there it is. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. You're not going to escape me this time, fish. I swear to you. Yeah, the back GoPro's on, but... All right, all right. He's got a little, he's got a little fight to him. He's got a little... There he is. You're not... You're not escaping me, bro. Oh, he's so small. Oh. Here we go, baby. Oh, we got him. Oh, he's so small. He better not be a rainbow. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. No, he definitely smells like a freaking kokanee. He will not go to waste. Oh, shit. That or I'm snagged. Nope, definitely a fish. That thing almost pulled the freaking kayak over. <laughs> Bro, I thought I got snagged. Oh, that's a nice one. oh my gosh. 
It's a tank, bro. It's a good one. All right, come on. I like I know what I'm doing now. There you go, baby. Oh yeah, that's a good one, dude. That thing is PB. Gorgeous lake out here. Shout out to uh, Tyler Hicks at Spilt Milk for the invite. He's he's right over there, so I'm gonna try not to talk too loud. It's kind of embarrassing. God, I am just terrible at this. First one. Let's go, baby. Come on in. No one's invited. Hey, you're not gonna. Have Get away from me this time, stinky. Oh, in the bag. Yes. Decent one, too. Slimy little fella. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, that yours is pretty big, actually. I haven't had a bite in like an hour, though. So that's been kind of... Kind of wonder what are, what am I doing wrong? What can I change here? So I think I got this guy at 40 feet on the line counter with the six ounce ball. This guy's at 30 feet. This was what I was using. This is a Paulina Peaks tackle, recommended by Spilt Milt and used by Spilt Milt. So I mean, I had to tie it on, of course, and then. What we're gonna be throwing is this guy right here. And this was the lure that I actually named. There was a bunch of names for it. I went with Northern Lights, and sure enough, that's what they ended up naming the lure. So now when you, if you go to buy this lure, and it's called the Northern Lights, you say, hey, I know the guy who named that lure. It's really not that cool, but let me have it, all right? Just do a little roster change here and see if we can change the, change the mind of some of these fish because we, the bite's just kind of been dead. I don't know how close this is to me, but the bite's just kind of died out. Like it's been almost non-existent the last hour or two. And so what we ended up doing was we ended up changing one of the Dodgers just to see, and, and the color, just to see if that's gonna affect anything. And so we're just gonna keep fishing probably for another hour or so and get off the lake. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this because I'm enjoying this. This is, dude, like, I mean, come on, take a look at this. There's one. Got one. There we go. There we go. Got one. And that was on the northern lights, too. Oh, shoot. Boom, baby. Yes. Kokanee. I switched to that other Dodger. That was freaking awesome, guys. Sorry, this camera is so close to me. It's like so personal, but yeah, dude, we got that beautiful fish right now. I'm gonna show you guys that fish here in a little bit. Freaking awesome though, dude. Freaking awesome. Right on cue too. Granted, we did move, you know, a quarter of the lake, but I'm glad I was able to get a fish on the Dodger. Like. No kidding, it's been about two hours, I have not caught a fish on it. And I switched to that thing, and obviously the different kind of action that this that this Dodger's given the bait, it's not something the fish really saw today. And so, you know, obviously I was running two of the other kind of Dodgers. So once I switched it up, those fish just, it was something different to them. Freaking awesome, freaking awesome. I'll show you guys what a kokanee looks like. This is what we're chasing. 
Here is Senor Kokanee right here. Look at that. And then we're gonna throw this guy on ice. We've got a cooler here. Or we're just keeping all our fish and an ice mule here. On the ice he goes. Boom! Dude, I'm jacked, bro. 